Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to make a witch's shoe bouquet of flowers. I take three fingers from the top in the middle and I put a dot. And from the dot I go one, two curved lines going to the left. I come back to the dot and I go one, two, three, four curved lines going to the right. Coming back to the right hand side I draw a big curve line down, curve line around, and stop. I come back over here to the left hand side and on the very first curve line right here I'm going to draw a slightly curve line down and out and stop. I'm going to leave it floating because right there at where I left it floating I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect and inside I'm going to draw a baby, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I come back up to the very top where I was, now I come to this section and I draw a straight line, curve line, connect. Now I'm going to draw a little skinny mini one right next to it and I mimic that line and draw a straight line, curve line, keep going all the way down, little straight line up, connect. Now I come over here down at the bottom and right here midpoint I put a little straight line. I come back over here to the right and over here, right about here, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal up, connect. Right where I connected, I'm going to draw a little straight line out, and then I draw a straight diagonal down, straight line across, big curve line up, keep going, into a spiral. I come back over here to my space right here on the right and I'm going to draw a little straight line. We're going to mimic this line again, straight line, big curve line into that spiral connect. Now I can come back and make this floating line connect right there. Okay. Come back down here on the right and let's just draw a little straight line, straight line, straight line, skinny rectangle and now I'm going to fill this in with straight lines, straight lines, straight lines, straight lines. I come back up to the top and now I'm going to draw a skinny line again mimicking the right hand side all the way down and connect. Okay. Now I come back up here and I'm going to draw slightly curved lines. I know this is a lot of detail but if you take it slow, stop the video if it goes too fast, catch up with me. We're going to draw little curved lines all the way down. Okay. Now I come back over to this section and I can already tell I should be able to put little baby circles all the way around and up on this little space. Mine looks a little too skinny. If you made yours fatter you probably did it better than I did. But if you can fit them in go ahead and that comes back over here on the right and fill that in also. Now we're going to put some little baby circles on the right hand space all the way down, keep going, all the way down, over to the left, okay? And I think that part is done. All right, now we're ready to do the top part. Come back to this floating line, we're just going to add a little straight line going down and bring it back up, connect. Then we're going to draw a curved line 
a curved line, a curved line, a curved line, and a little curved line. Okay? I come back to the first one, and we're just going to draw some baby circles on the top and on the bottom. Okay? On the second one, I'm going to draw a circle with a straight line, straight line, straight line, triangle, triangle, triangle in the middle, curved lines at the bottom, curved lines at the top, and you can add some little straight lines. This one I'm going to draw straight line out, straight line in, out, in, out, straight line in, out, in, out, connect. On this curved line, I'm going to draw the letter U, curved line at the top, curved line up, curved line down, zigzag, zigzag on the left, zigzag, zigzag on the right, X, X, baby circle, straight line. And on this one, I'm just going to put some more baby circles at the top and on the sides. Okay. Now I come back to this section and I'm going to put one, two, three, four baby circles. And I'm going to add a curve line out, curve line in. I'm going to skip this one, but I'm going to come over here and write curve line, curve line, baby circle, baby circle. And I think that's it. Now I come all the way over here to the left and I draw a curved line, then I draw a straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect, come inside and draw a little curved line on the top and a little curved line on the bottom. Now midpoint, right about here, I'm just going to draw a curved line, loop, loop, and then coming underneath, I draw a curved line out, spiral, curved line out, spiral. Now I know that was a lot to do, so we're just going to stare at this for a moment, and I think that's all the detail needed to draw. Now, coloring. Going to be kind of semi-exciting. Get out that box of crayons. We're going to use a lot of different colors. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, what's great about this project is you can pretty much color it in any way you want. Some things should be the same, so I'm going to just do my jack-o-lantern up here give him a black mouth and this is like a black bat butterfly so I'm gonna make that black and I'm gonna use my orange for my pumpkin and my orange for my scarecrow over here and then I'm gonna do regular green but I found a mint green. I don't know where I got it. So I'm going to do his hat like that. Give him a little red violet. Okay. Now, because I found that mint green, I got all excited and I colored this section all green. This should all be green. These little baby circles, I didn't make them big enough on the bottom, but these should all be green. And if you have room, to color around them. The coloring around them should be orange. And again, I squished mine a little too much, so if you made yours chubby, fatter, whiter, you're better off. But there's no mistakes in art, so just deal with it. I did my buckle green, I mean orange, hello. I did this section orange. This is candy corn. I did the middle section orange. I did my little baby circles up here, orange, this was orange, this is orange, I guess I did all these orange. Came back in, used my regular green for my leaves, okay, this is a leaf, made that green. Did the midsection blue all the way down. And did my little polka dots baby circles on the inside. I did these that mint green. Really like that mint green. And then I did the major part 
right here, red violet. We don't use red violet very often, or enough, I should say. So I did this whole section red violet, which was kind of semi exciting to use a color crayon that I don't usually use and should use more often. So this was all red violet and this little inside part of the buckle should be blue. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my witch's shoe all colored in, ready for Halloween. I didn't know if I should call this a bouquet because these kind of look like flowers up here. I just didn't know what to do. So we'll just call it a witch's shoe bouquet for Halloween or for whenever. Okay, bye-bye.